Hello, welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add commands to buttons and how to customize the uh, look of the buttons and how they react with respect to tallies, etc. So let's open up a new desktop here to start with. Go on File, a new desktop, and then hit the Edit button which will open up the information box. This is where all the information will be within the buttons. So we'll start by right-clicking on the canvas and look at a colored button. So a colored button behaves uh, in a way that's in such that um, it is it will be dim until it tallies. So it would be a, a lighter green when it tallies it becomes a bright green. So what I'll do is I'll show you how we can do that just by using adding a um, control or a command, a vmix command in that button. So you saw I would click on the question mark here, go to transition, select one of the categories, go to transition, we'll do a cut direct to let's say the webcam and the tally color or the button color in this situation could be would be green you could change the color if you want let's let's make it red for fun so it would be a dim red and then go to a bright red when it's actually tallied now um, I'll, I, I'll clone this just so that I could switch back to something else so you see now these two buttons are the same all the information remains the same but I'm just going to change the input in the second one just to show you how it works okay now if I click off the info box this will be in a uh, running mode. So you see this button on the right, the second one is dimmer than the first one. So that means the first one, button number one, I had it set to input one and button number two to input two. So as we switch and you can see on the NDI window over here on the right side it is switching from one input to the other. So that's one style of button. The other one is uh, uh, basically it's called a clear button. It's got its own sort of unique look here like a little dimpled button and it works a little bit the same way. It will generally be clear or light gray as you can see. So I'll do the same commands in there and I'll do a cut direct to the first item on there, or first input, it's a webcam and um, I'll make it look red as well just so that you can see the difference when they tally and uh, okay, again I'll clone it so I'll do a command CV clones it right and um, in the second button I'll just change it to the next input as well so now you can see how they behave differently you see these this first button here is red showing that that input is on is currently on the output if I go to here in input number two is currently on the output you can see how the colored button and the clear buttons react a little differently. So those are choices you can make and the type of button you want to use. The third one is the icon button. I think that's the most popular one. So that one here, again, you can select, let's select the same commands just so that we can compare the three. Put a webcam here. And as a tally, what I'm going to do is put something a little different here or as a, not a tally, a, um, an icon. I can add an icon into here. This is an icon button. So if you go down in this bottom area, you can choose between transitions, inputs, and media. There's a whole bunch of different icons you can choose from. Uh, you can go to user icons, and I've imported a whole bunch of my own user icons here. You can see that there's a whole variety of them. And uh, you can actually in Put those in there as well. You could uh, add user icons by hitting the plus or delete them by hitting the minus. I'll just use one that's already in the, let's say, in the media here. So, uh, so let's say in a regular instance, the button would look something like, well, let's say it's that. And when it tallies, we'll change the tally color here to red as well. Do OK. So again, I'm going to duplicate this button, clone it comes off to the right and I'll just change the input like we did on the other ones just to show you the difference. So you can see now how they all react a little differently. The icon remains in here and anything that is uh, transparent because this is a PNG icon 
then the transparency will become red. So there's a bit of an idea on how that works. I'll go one step further now with the icon buttons. I can actually have a button, so I'll make it, I'll start a new one here. Uh, actually, I'll just duplicate one of these and I'll bring it down here. So I can actually have a tally icon instead of a tally color, or I can do both. So as a tally icon, if you click on tally icon over here, it will highlight red. And you can choose an icon. So let's say I wanted to change that icon to become something like this. Okay. So whenever, let's just duplicate that one and change that input just so we can show the differences once again. I might have to do the no, tally icon should be there. Okay, now when I hit escape, you see when it tallies, the actual icon changed in this case, and that should happen over here. You see the icon changes and the background color changes as well. So if you find that useful, you can use that as well. That was a quick overview of how to put commands in the buttons. And um, there probably are actually a few other things, and I'll... Uh, I think I'll explain that in another video because there's a few other um, customizations you can do here. So I'll call it customizing icon buttons. Okay, hope to see you soon and uh, I'll get that other video going. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.